Ladies, gentlemen, and all the rest of you, how you doing? Welcome in. Twitch has made a huge advancement in technology, also known as doing something for the love of God, finally. This is 9-11 for Gooners on that purple streaming website, because recently Twitch announced that they are going to be removing content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of time. And I don't know if you, you're caught up with all the lore from what's been going down on that funny purple streaming site recently, but they've been having a problem. They've been having a big problem in the form of breasts and a little bit of ass. It's, they've had this issue where a lot of just chatting streamers and more specifically hot tub streamers have been getting unreasonably unclothed on their streams for the sake of having people who are unreasonably horny to watch for about 10 minutes get their <laughs> get their gooning period complete and then move on to the next streamer. Maybe Hassan or PewDiePie's consistent 24-hour live stream he has going. So, what happened essentially is, I'm gonna take you through the lore because I've actually been covering this consistently. I, three months ago, made a video talking about the morgue pie situation, which you can't really see what I'm talking about from just that image, but essentially what happened was morgue pie was on her stream looking like this. And if you couldn't tell from that extremely subtle demonstration, she's wearing nothing. She's not wearing a goddamn thing. She's wearing zip, not a zilch. And the only thing stopping us from seeing her honkers on full display is the peripheral vision of the camera, much to the dismay of every gooner in the immediate vicinity. And Twitch got mad. They actually ended up coming forward and banning Morgue Pie for a really long time. Can you guess how long she was banned? You're correct, it was two days. <laughs> a little slap on the wrist for complete and utter nudity on the Twitch screen. And so what happened was, then Twitch came forward a few days later with a crazy update. They came forward with an update to their TOS that said, Hey guys, um, Chatterinos, my boys, my girls, and everyone else, um, you can just get naked now, as long as it's in the form of art. What? So, Twitch did that. They made that TOS change, and so essentially what happened was, people started getting naked. A lot. Yes, I'm using my own video as a source. I already did all the research b before I can use it. Um, yeah, so people started getting naked. Very naked. And then what happened was, within 24 hours of that update, Twitch immediately reversed the policy. Because, like, what are you thinking? Like, what, <laughs> what do you think could have gone down there? And of course, this essentially sparked what I call, and what I've heard other people call, the arms race of nudity on Twitch. Because then, after the, uh, first the morgue pie situation with her just getting naked and just cropping it out, and then after the artist nudity, we started the black bar meta. Which started here, with people just putting a black bar, which kind of resembles like a sensor bar, if you couldn't tell, as well as others doing the same thing, like streamer Tectone, who I'm very happy I didn't zoom in for because I don't need to look any closer, I can I can get all the details from that small view alone. And that was about where I stopped covering it, I made like four videos, <laughs> four videos covering the Twitch nudity situation, and I thought, that's enough, I feel like I'll let that be now. But things have happened since then, there's been a few different uh, advancements to the arms race of nudity on Twitch, there was one that I'm not going to show you because there's no way of showing it in a way that lets me keep my channel, but the one- if, if I could explain it for you. Essentially, there would be a girl who's live in the hot tub category, and she would sit there like this. You know? As people do. They'd sit there like that, but- oh, my dear viewer, there would be a camera right around here, and it would look a little like- How do I properly show this to you? Here, let me just give you a bit of a physical representation. Uh, oh my god- ah! Okay, we're fine, um- that was almost the death of me. I didn't plan for the chair to fall. <laughs> um, yeah, so their entire butt was on the screen, except for there was no khakis in the way, just underwear. <laughs> Actually, calling it underwear is a bit of a hyperbole. It was more like a singular strap that covers everything that you need to cover to keep your account on that purple website. There have been other ones as well, like just shots of like the tummy and crotch area, because people consider that attractive as well. But there was one other... Admittedly, really creative <laughs> addition to the Twitch meta of uh, nudity on that site, and that was the green screen meta, which I can just show you at best through Morgue Pie yet again. She is, I would argue, she's the queen of trying to create revolutionary advancements in the art of getting naked on the screen, <laughs> getting jiggy with it, as I say. Because she put a green screen, or more like green pants, on and then played <laughs> Fortnite on her ass. 
That's crazy, actually. That That's, like, impressive. I, I should have come up with that, honestly. But being real, this entire arms race has been something that's been going on for quite a long time. I mean, literally, the hot tub category was in itself a meta for a short time. And before that, there was constantly people trying to come up with new and unique ways to make horny teenagers watch their content. It's always been a thing because, as the age-old saying is, sex sells. It's always going to be how it is. So, people were essentially just kind of going crazy crazy recently and getting uber creative, and so Twitch decided to come forward with the new update that released just a few days ago that said, Our community guidelines are designed to help make Twitch a welcoming place. Content on Twitch is always evolving, and we want to make sure our rules work as intended to keep up with emerging behaviors when needed. That's not grammar. I'm sorry. Dyslexia is a bitch. When needed, we make updates to our rules to capture those shifts in behavior. And so it's clear that a community what is- It's clear to the community what is allowed. Okay, you're yapping. We know. You, rules do rule things. So on Friday, March 29th, which is tomorrow, 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 today as of me releasing this, content that focuses on intimate body parts for a prolonged period of time will not be allowed. We've included the additional detail that definitions in our community guidelines link below, with a link to the community guidelines that essentially says the exact same thing. Just saying, hey, guys, chat, uh, streamers, I guess, they're not the chat, uh, please stop um, getting naked, please, there are children on our website. <laughs> Chill out. And this, of course, has been taken at very intensely by the, um, how would I word this? The, the naked community on Twitch, <laughs> I guess. The, so, MorgPy, the, of course, revolutionary in the nudist community of this, uh, streaming website, came out with a post on her channel just being like, Hey, guys, uh, uh look at me. I'm a green screen. Ha, huh? my boobies are out. Look at my boobies. And saying, like, hey, we're gonna do this until the meta gets changed, until the TOS comes into effect. And it seems like... The rest of the website holds the same consensus because I went to the pools hot tubs and beaches category and I'm just gonna I'm gonna hit the button. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move over to it And if it's something that I deem in editing shouldn't be on YouTube, I'll just censor it all out. Okay Wow, okay, so people are getting naked and doing things like sitting on a clear chair I don't know if you can see this because I might have uh, covered it in post But she's sitting on a chair and it's completely clear It's like made of glass or plastic or something so you can see her entire Buddhas booty booty not boobas those you can see those two as well as well as other people doing similar metas There's also I think I saw oh, yeah, I'm in a wheelchair and can't walk or move I <laughs> by wheelchair man 75 I think that's going to be the next meta. I'm kidding. So <laughs> they're all trying to just like make take advantage of this meta before it goes away. They're trying to just get naked as much as they possibly can without getting banned before the TOS comes into effect. Which makes sense. Uh, they're trying to just use it until they lose it. But the thing is I don't think that this is going to stop nudity on Twitch. I don't even think for a second that this is going to stop nudity on Twitch. Because the thing is, this has constantly been, as I said, an arms race. It's been people working against the TOS and the TOS updating, and then a month later people coming out with some new and creative way to get around it. That's just always how it's been, and it's always how it's going to be. So with this new update, I, I, like, l let's look at the actual wording specifically. Because the thing is, they talk about how showing body parts for a prolonged period of time will not be allowed. Intimate body parts. So, of course, that brings up the question, what counts as an intimate body part? I assume it's, like, the crotch area, the boobas, and the booty. But, like, I guess people might start using, like, tummy. I don't know. But then there could also be stuff like who knows? Maybe we'll try and uh, dig into the TikTok attention span and just have people <laughs> clicking back and forth between each part of their body over and over again before 30 seconds rings up and just count as not prolonged periods of time. By the way, if that becomes a real thing, I'm coining it the edging stream. So if that actually happens, please credit me. Morgpie, if you, if you see this video, you're not going to see this video. But if you do and you end up using that idea, can you credit me as the edging stream creator? I'm... Okay, maybe not. I don't really want that on my resume. Regardless, I, I had the idea. <laughs> I feel like there's definitely going to be ways that they get around this. We just don't know how they're going to do it yet because these people are just leagues ahead of us. These <laughs> these uh, OnlyFans streamers, essentially, are just on a separate level, a separate dimension from us basic bitch streamers who keep our clothes on. How dare we? In fact, you know what? How about this? I'll join in. I'll join in. If this video somehow gets a thousand likes because there's no way in hell it's getting a thousand likes, I'll do a video with no shirt on. Alright? Okay? Sounds like a plan. Anyway, I've seen some other people comment on other ways that they think Twitch should have solved the issue. Essentially, backseat companying. <laughs> saying things like, why don't you just ban the few people who actually do it? And to that I say, few people? 
scroll through the category. There are dozens, if not hundreds of people all using this live at once. And not everyone's live at the same time, so there's going to be other people doing it as well. And also, you know Twitch isn't going to ban these people. These people make Twitch money. <laughs> A lot of money! So, of course, they're not going to try and ban these people. They're just going to try and find a ways to make them stop getting naked and make their site clean and safe for people to navigate. But anyways, it seems like this is the death of the meta for now. I'm curious how it's going to manifest itself next, but for now, I'm going to say it's clean. We're going to be safe to navigate Twitch for at least a week or two, and then they'll come up with some new creative way. And honestly, if it's funny enough, I'll cover it again. <laughs> I'll be your certified Twitch nudity specialist. That's that's a horrible title, but anyways, I'm gonna be hitting the road. Thank you guys for being here Subscribe, please per chance if you're new like the video if you want to or not because I don't want to make a video without a shirt on And also I don't know share the video to your, with your friends In fact actually share all the videos with your friends go to all my videos and send them to all your friends with the message watch That's it with a period too and make the a capital anyway. That's all I'm gonna get out of here Thank you guys and as always adios arrivederci. Goodbye. Good night and keep your clothes on